I am back with another video as promised and I'm super excited because as you can tell by the title I'm getting ready to do my first protein treatment on my natural hair so I wanted to do a protein treatment that was that required an egg and I went on YouTube and I looked up some videos to see what I would need to go in this particular formula and I got all my products here so we are going to try it today and we are going to do this together because this will be my first time doing this and I'm super excited because um, I'm getting ready to do another protective style on my hair which is kind of the reason why I wanted to do this protein treatment because I do like to wear a lot of protective styles because I'm one of those type of girls that I like to change up my hairstyles. So I do do a lot of protective styles just to protect my natural hair as well. And so I won't have to be manipulating it as much because when you're not manipulating your hair as often, that allows your hair to grow. So I love protective styles and I've recently gotten into the crochet braids. I love them. So I'm getting ready to do another installment. But we'll talk about that in another video. But right now, I'm going to get my hair prepared for that installation. So, um, I want to use a protein treatment also because I've been using the Shea Moisture Anti-Breakage and Strengthening um, Shampoo and Conditioners. And they have been awesome on my natural hair. And um, so, I wanted, kind of to, wanted to kind of use something else to kind of give my hair some extra strength and maybe thicken it just a bit more and especially for my edges because I have naturally thin edges and um, the crochet braids have really been helping my edges a lot because I was doing the individual braids but as you guys know when you wear individuals sometimes they can cause tension on your edges especially if they are done too tight so I love the crochet braid alternative but that's another video right now we're going to get into this one and i'm going to show you my products really quickly and we're going to go ahead and get started all right you guys so these are going to be the things that we're going to need to do this protein treatment so first you're going to need two eggs and you're going to need a bowl to mix the um, ingredients in i have two eggs if you have short hair you're probably only going to need one egg but i have two because my hair is sort of thick and it is growing it's kind of shoulder length so it's kind of in, on the medium side of a length, but if you have short hair, you probably only need to use one egg, but I'm gonna use two just simply because I have thick hair. So I have two eggs here. I have some 100% pure refined coconut oil, and I purchased this coconut oil at the Dollar Tree. Um, I haven't seen it in there before, but I did see it in there yesterday, and it is women-owned, and it is 100% pure refined coconut oil, non-GMO, and if you can look right here where the ingredients are, it says coconut oil oil okay so that lets you know that it's 100 percent pure coconut oil if the first and only ingredient is coconut oil so we have the coconut oil i also have some extra virgin olive oil here i purchased this at walmart and it was only a dollar and 74 cent it is eight fluid ounces and it is extra virgin olive oil and as you can tell with the ingredients once again extra virgin olive oil is the one and only ingredient okay then that is all we're going to need for the actual um formula for the protein treatment those are the only three ingredients that you're going to need unless you want to add more oils that is pretty much all you're going to need and what i like about this treatment is these are things that you can actually find laying around your house which is budget friendly because if you already have it you don't have to go rebuy it again and if you do have to go buy it both of these items together only cost me um two dollars and 74 cents and maybe a couple of more a uh, little you know change whatever but you know you get the point so two eggs and some oil of your choice and i've seen some people add their favorite conditioner so if you would like to add some conditioner to it as well you can but i'm not going to i'm just going to use the egg and the oil but i do have this here because i am going to wash my head i'm going to rinse through my hair again because when you do this protein treatment you do want to do it on clean hair and i do have some product in my hair so i'm going to wash that out so i do have some conditioner here that i may or may not use this is the um <clears throat> aussie um hope i'm saying that right total miracle seven in one conditioner revitalist revitalist whatever y'all know y'all see it <laughs> but um i did get this as you can see 
I got this a while ago at my local Family Dollar, and it was in the reduced bin, and it was only two dollars and forty cent. Okay, I have not used this yet, I don't think, but this is some very good um, conditioner. That's a very good brand, so I do have this here. And this is the shampoo that I've been using. Excuse my bottle because I've been using it. And actually, I'm going to need some more because it's almost gone. But this is the Shea Moisture. Um, this is the Yucca or Yucca and Plantain Anti-Breakage Strengthening Shampoo with the Bahoba, no, Bobob Oil and Cilantro Extract. And this is for frizzy, split, and break breakage, breaking hair. And it has moisture control and it boosts the shine. So I do use this and you kind of have to shake it up because all the oil sometimes is separate. But this is some good stuff and it smells so good. Then I have the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Strengthen and Grow Restore Shampoo with Shea Butter and Apple Cider Vinegar. I absolutely love this shampoo. This is my favorite, okay? For my natural hair, I love it. It has done wonders with my hair. I would definitely recommend this product. Now... As for pricing, um, it's not the most budget-friendly shampoo in the world, but for the price, which is probably about $10 a pop, um, it is definitely worth it. Now, these two right here, I did not buy for $10. Um, I did get these um, at a flea market. Um, um, there's a young lady that I know that sells products and she actually was getting rid of some beauty products and she actually had these and she was only selling them for a dollar a bottle. So I did get these because these were the only two that she had and I did get these and I only paid $2 a piece for them. Now, if you, you still can get these on a budget, like I said, with couponing. So, um, I'm going to do a whole separate video on that, on how you can get these for cheaper if you would like to purchase these. But I did get these, and they do have these at Walmart, and they are about $10 and some change a bottle. Okay, so we're going to leave that at that. Okay, next and last product that I have here to show you guys is this product right here that I purchased at my local City Trends. And this is called Hair One, and this is pretty much like the wind products that um, they have for um, hair. And this is pretty much like an alternative, a cheaper alternative to win. And it's basically a hair cleanser and a conditioner. And um, it's for all hair types, and it pretty much um, makes your hair super soft, and you are able to comb through it, and it makes it super soft, and it really defines your curls. And it does um, have a sweet almond oil in it. And so, um, I <clears throat> paid $1.99 for it at City Trends. So, they also have products in there as well. And you'll be surprised what you find in stores like that. And excuse my nails, y'all. I got to do those. I've been doing a lot of work. Because, you know, I'm a hard-working woman. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got to do my nails too, y'all. But we're going to deal with this hair right now, okay? So, these are the products that I'm using. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into getting this protein treatment mixed up together. All right, you guys. So, I have my mixture here. And um, what I have is I have three tablespoons of um, coconut oil, three tablespoons of the extra virgin olive oil, and my two eggs. So all the thing we're going to do is we're just going to mix this up. We mix this up together. And if you don't have the olive oil and the coconut oil, I guess you can use the conditioner as a substitute because some, most conditioners have oils in them. So you could probably use the conditioner as a substitute if you just have regular conditioner laying around the house that you use when you wash your hair. You can just use egg and conditioner. I have seen that done as well. So I'm just going to mix this up until it mixes together. Something like this. Okay. And what I'm going to do now... There it is. That's, it should be, that should be good enough. It's mixed together, the shampoo. I mean, mm, the egg, the coconut oil, and the olive oil is mixed together. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash my hair and get it clean. And then we are going to start our protein treatment. And I'll be right back. <music> Alright 
you guys so i have washed and conditioned my hair and so now i'm getting ready to put in the protein treatment <music> you guys so for this part of the video I'm just showing you guys my braiding pattern for the crochet braids that I'm about to apply in my head um, as you can see in the front I'm doing the rubber band method and then I'm just finishing that off with a cornrow straight back um, I like to do the rubber band method in the front because it gives you the illusion of individual twists in the front and it also makes for a neater look whenever you want to pull your hair up in a ponytail so I love to use this, use this method and it is also a good method if you are a beginner and you're not that good at doing the cornrows or braiding to the scalp. This also allows you to be able to achieve the crochet braid look without having to actually braid your hair to the scalp. So this is another way that you can do your hair if you are a beginner and it also helps you grab them edges, okay? Not pull them out, but just make them look neat. <laughs> so um, I did the rubber band method pretty much in the front um, top of my head. And then on the sides, I did a regular one row without the rubber bands just because um, I didn't want to put too much tension on those parts of my head so as you can see here I'm just braiding my hair down and as for the back I show you later on in the video that with the rest of the loose hair I just took some weaving thread and needle and I just sewed the rest of the hair down in place so I hope this helps and thank you guys for watching all right you guys so right here i'm just going to show you guys this is the hair that i'm using it is the poetic justice braid jumbo twist braid two times the thickness it is by american nature braid the american nature braid collection and this is the packaging that it comes in and i got this at my local beauty supply store as you can see right here i got it for 3.99 and this is the 10 inch and this is how it comes packages, packaged just like this. And it says Senegalese at the bottom. And it shows you on the back how to actually, it shows you that it is um, used for a latch hook. And it shows you that you can wear it twisted or you can unravel it and actually wear it like this. And it has the model on the back of the package to show you what the hair should look like. Now, this type of hair is says perfect for women of all ages. So you can use this for a child if you would like to do so. And this is the way the hair looks when you take it out of the package. It is a twist just like this, and it comes with a loop at the top. So what you want to do is you want to take it and you want to open up that loop like so, like so. Then you want to take your latch hook of your choice. I'm just going to use this one because this is the first one I put my hands on. And I'm going to show you right here in the front of my hair. So first... Um, and this is my braiding pattern. First of all, I did do the rubber band method on some of them. Um, and then like on my edges where I don't want as much tension, I did um, a plait straight back. And then I did in the middle, um, I did the rubber band method and then I just did it two rows and then I just braided it back. This is the back. I took the leave, the lip, the leave out and I um, sewed it down to my head so I hope you guys can see that but anyway back to the latch hook method it's super easy it's not hard at all so what you want to do is you want to take your latch hook you want to take the latch hook and you want to slide it through your braid then you want to take your loop of hair like this and you want to attach it to the hook like so then once you get the hair attached to the hook you want to close the latch and pull it through then you take it out you take the loop you open up the loop and you take the end piece of your hair and you grab the end piece and you pull it through and you want to pull it through and voila there you go your jumbo twist oh there we go okay 
okay and there you have it your twist and this is just easy as that super simple super easy okay and as you can see the rubber band is covered and i kind of like to do the rubber band method because as you can see it makes it give the illusion of an individual braid okay so i will do it one more time for you guys so you can see again you get the hair the loop take your latch hook Look in the mirror, y'all, so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. And then you want to go through the braid. You want to pull it through. You want to take the hair. Put it on the hook. Close it up. And pull it through. Then you want to take the hair. Open up the loop. Take the hair and just pull it through super simple super easy don't pull it too hard because you don't want to pull your hair you don't want to cause any extra tension so kind of hold it at the roots to kind of you know when you want to secure it and bam voila there you have it and like i said the box method gives you that individual look in the front okay so that's how you do it i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of my head and then i will come back when i'm halfway done to show you guys the results so far so I am done with my hair <sighs> you know what I don't even I can even tell you guys how long it actually took me to put this in but I want to say it was about two hours um, for the install but this is the hair you guys um this is new for me because I've never had a full head of a totally different color. I've always gotten one or one B, but this was a number four. And the reason why I got this really quickly, the reason why I got the number four was because the number four pack of hair was $3.99. Now the one B and the one pack of hair was $4.50. The reason being they said was because the UPC codes are different on the hair and they had just gotten this hair in so um, this hair here was $3.99 a pack so I said you know what I've been wanting to put some color in my head and y'all know how I am about saving money so I said you know what let me go ahead and get the number four pack because that'll be an excuse for me to go ahead and try a different color. So, so far, yeah, it's, I got to get used to it, but I like it. I love the length because it's hot and the longer hair kind of is a lot. So, I'm loving the length and this is how it's looking, you guys. This is the back. I hope you guys can see. Very full, very, very nice. And this is the um, other side. And yeah, and another thing that I do like about the length is it kind of gives you that bob type look, you know, it gives you that bob esque look, which is the look that I really was going for. And I was going to get like the three different lengths of hair to achieve the look, but because the hair is short and the way um it is it does give you that bob-esque look which i absolutely love so yes so i am done i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will insert some pictures at the end because i am going to church tonight and once i get all the dogs up and everything i will insert some pictures at the end of this video so you guys can see the whole total full 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 look so without further ado i thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button below um information uh, will be in the description box below um you can also follow me on instagram at vanessa roy snapchat at vanessa roy and you can follow me on facebook at vanessa roy all of those links will be in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video